Hey, what's up everybody? And I've got some great news for my Lightroom users out there that love to work on landscape photos. So we've enjoyed the, the incredible AI power masking capabilities for portraits, being able to automatically select things like eyes and teeth and skin and clothing even. And it's been great if you're a portrait shooter. What if you're a landscape shooter? So now, that same love and power of AI-based masking comes to all my landscape photographers out there. So this is across the board. This is on Lightroom, Lightroom Classic, Lightroom Web, and Adobe Camera Raw. So basically all the desktop platforms. So let me show you how it works. So here I've got an image here. Let me back out. I've got this image that I shot in Iceland back in 2016. I'm gonna go ahead and double click on it. Now I've already made a lot of adjustments to it. But now it would have been so much easier with the new landscape masking capability. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to the develop module and um, the develop module activate it. And of course, I get all my uh, standard sliders that I've already gone and made a bunch of changes to. But if I wanted to go in and make individual changes to things, well, we've, we've had the ability to select the sky, a, a sky and subject, and maybe even the background. But if you wanted to select something like the water, then you would have to manually go in and either use the brush to brush it, which is what I always had to do with water, or use the object selection tool to select it. What if you wanted the mountain? What if you wanted the road? Again, all of those things would have to be done manually. Well, now you'll notice there's a whole new category called landscape. And when I click on landscape, it, it'll take a minute. I already processed this one but it'll, it'll take a few seconds to find all the various things in your photo. So in this particular photo, it found five of the categories. Sky, which of course is the sky. Mountains, so it found the mountain range all the way around. Water, it found the water on both sides of the road. Artificial ground, it found the road that was not naturally there. And natural ground, it found the ground that's naturally there. So all of those are categories. Well, Terry, are those the only five categories? No, let me, let me read them off to you. There's sky, which is in mine, mountains, which is in mine, water in mine, architecture, there's no architecture in this shot, and vegetation. So those are two more plus natural ground and artificial ground. So seven categories all together and your photo may not have all seven, just like mine only has five. But once it finds the ones that are in your photo, then you can go in and create individual or combine masks for each one. So for example, if I want the sky, well, I could have already done that, but I can go ahead and create a mask for the sky. If I want the mountains, the minute I check a second one, I can either create two separate masks or uncheck this and create one mask that would select both of those things together. But I of course want them separate in this, in this situation. Water, I'll go ahead and do one for each one. So now we'll go ahead and create mask and voila. It's created the mask for each individual area of your photo to do with whatever you want. So if I want to select the sky, well, the sky was already easily, easily selectable in the past, but now it's even easier because it's part of your landscape AI masking. So I bump up the temperature. I love doing a little bit of dehaze to the sky. So let's go ahead and make the sky a little and see, I already had this applied because the sky was already selectable. Great but now I've got things like water. So if I go to the water, I can go in and maybe I want to bump up the exposure of the water, make it a little brighter. I can do that, tone it down a little bit, add the contrast, add the highlights. I can do all of that to the water individually. Again, you could do that before, but you'd have to manually select it. If I want to do the artificial ground, which I love this because again, I have to manually brush the whole road if I wanted to bump up the texture and sharpness of the road. So for example, we'll go to the texture slider and we'll just really crank up the texture of the artificial ground and uh, we get that look on the ground, nice and texturized. So again, these are gonna be great for people that work with landscape photos. Now, I, I love shooting landscapes when I travel to nice places. So this is gonna be fun for me. And just to prove my point that, yeah, we're in Lightroom Classic doing this, but if I pop over to Lightroom and I double click on that photo in Lightroom, I've got the same masking capability and even the mask that I just did came over here as well. So whichever Lightroom you prefer or Lightroom Web or Camera Raw, you've now got this great landscape masking capability.
So now, with that said, go download your Lightroom update as of today. Today, Max London's taking place, so this all rolls out for the Max London crowd, but you get to take advantage of it too. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, everybody.